Hi, Mr. Schultz. I'm a nine-year partner. I'm here with some uh, fellow partners from Starbucks. Have you benefited from Beanstalk? Absolutely. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> it's not what my question's about. But <laughs> also benefited from the healthcare plan, which is what my question is kind of about. How do you plan to model what you provided for Starbucks partners in terms of healthcare on a larger scale for our country? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first off, thank you very much for your all you're doing at Starbucks over a nine-year period. I appreciate that. And for those of you who don't know much about what he's asking about, uh, over 20 years before the Affordable Care Act, Starbucks was the first company in the U.S. to provide comprehensive health insurance to all employees, including part-time people. Uh, yeah. So we, we, we certainly have a health care crisis in America. And I would bifurcate the question because there's two things we have to solve for. One is that over the nine years that the Affordable Care Act has been in place, which I was a supportive of, unfortunately, premiums have doubled. So we've got to get the cost down. That's one thing. And then we have to create access. Probably close to 30 million people now are uninsured. And so there's a few things. We need more transparency in the system. We need more competition. We need more choice. Uh, one thing that really bothers me is that the United States government uh, is not negotiating with pharmaceutical companies on drug prices, and yet those same drugs are being sold in Europe at a lower price. So we have to be able to do that. Uh, but the real issue, I think, is how do we bend the cost, the cost curve? And I would say, and this, is, this will be news, is I would, I would be a proponent, a strong proponent, of universal catastrophic coverage. And if we did that, uh, we would begin to lower the cost and that would have a significant impact. It would be catalytic on bringing that premium down. I do believe strongly that every American uh, has the right for affordable care, affordable health care in America. And I think what we did at Starbucks also, it should be a model for many, many other companies. The last thing I'd say is that the Republicans and the Democrats are trying to take health care away. Let me explain that. Republicans for nine years are saying, Republican leadership for nine years are saying they want to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, but yet for nine years they have not proposed, not one, not one idea or proposal, just get rid of it. That's a bad idea. The Democrats in the Green New Deal are saying free Medicare for all. 180 million people get their insurance from their employer. That would go away. Bad idea. Let the market work. And let's get these costs down, let's provide more access, and specifically, universal catastrophic coverage will bring that cost curve down. Let me just say, there have been a number of Republican plans. Yeah. They haven't land on a, landed on a replace to, and passed it through Congress. But they've been... Passed been, in the House. Many in the, in the House, but not in the Senate. So you're right. But I mean, not a comprehensive what, plan that was completed. Yeah. Who, who am I to debate with you on a Republican <laughs> policy? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's just a fact. Yeah. That's all. I, 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 I have said. Well, I, I, what I just said is important. Both the Republicans and the Democrats, if they have their way, Republicans will take the Affordable Care Act away. I, I don't agree with that. And the Democrats are trying to do something, Medicare for all. 180 million people will lose their insurance. Not a good idea. Gotcha. There's a better way.